Well, thanks for your company on the Sunday footy show. A lot of controversy, a lot of conjecture about the official 2020 All-Australian team, but this is the one everyone wants to be in. It's the Sunday footy show team of the year. Let's wheel it out. Let's have a look at it because it is magnificent. If you just go through that, Stephen May had to be in this team. I know he wasn't in the squad of 40, which was disgraceful in itself. I thought Jonas as captain of the number one ranked team in the side in the competition was significant. Caleb Daniel deserves his rightful spot across half back. I know Braden Maynard missed out on the official team, but he was outstanding this year. Center line speaks for itself, as does the forward line. And finally, someone has recognized the art of playing forward this year. I thought Petraka was a group forward this year. Dangerfield spent time there, as did Martin, and, and really good recognition for the two best small forwards this year. And that was Papley and Butler, who I've named on the interchange bench. Travis Boak is the captain of this side, and rightfully so. So over to you. There shouldn't be any debate about this, but the press conference is here, and if everyone's right to go, I'll uh, take your questions. OK, first question, Kane. Uh, a massive change this year. Why didn't you dress up like last year, which was <laughs> just <laughs> hilarious? And uh, I must admit, in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the history of television, I don't think there was a funnier moment than when you walked out dressed up as Harry Butler or we something. Don't know. We didn't know who it was. No, I was dressed as Ben Simmons, um, but yeah, oh. you didn't quite get it. So <laughs> times, times are tough this year. Budgets have been stripped back, so no costumes. Now, Kane, this is a pretty good-looking side, but I have to pick you up on Tom Jonas. You can't tell me he had a better year than Weedering, Darcy Moore or Harris Andrews. That is Port Adelaide bias coming out. Now, I know, yeah, Lordo, good, your idea of homeschooling this year has been watching reruns of yourself playing for the Bombers <laughs> back in the day, and you are stuck in the past, but he's the captain of the number one ranked side in the comp. So don't look at stats. You've got to go and watch him live. Look at the work he's done to lead this side from out of the finals last year to number one from Kane, round one it's about through on to field. around 18. Not you're captain of a team that's on top. It's about on-field performance. Of course it's about yeah. on-field performance and his leadership, his lack of goals against him, his courage. He was voted the third best captain in the league by the players. He was voted the fourth most courageous player in the league by his peers and that is uh, world recognition and he should have been in the All-Australian team. World recognition. Well, we'll find out this week world. against Tommy Hawkins when he comes up against him. Now, I love small forwards, Kane, and I completely agree with Dan Butler going in there. Most goals, most tackles inside forward 50. But Tom Papley, I think there's only room for one. Tom Papley only kicked seven goals in his last nine games. That's seven goals for more than half a season, Kane. So I don't see how you got Papley in there. Yeah, I'm surprised by that, Brownie, because you were the self-proclaimed 2008 best player in the comp for 10 weeks. I thought you would have enjoyed <laughs> Papley's recognition. Now, you weren't even the best player in your team in that period, but Papley was terrific. <laughs> 53 shots on goal he had. He had nine goal assists this year. And if you go and watch him play, Sydney weren't winning unless Tom Papley was playing the way that he did. So I know he tailed off towards the end of the season. Seven but goals in nine games, Kane. It's not good yeah, reading. Yeah, it's a tough, it's tough toughest position. Stats, apparently, toughest, yeah. toughest you, position to him. play on the <laughs> toughest position to play on the field, Brownie. Mm. You know that, and, and he was it. significant this year. <laughs> hey, Kano, centre half, yes, but centre half back worries me. Luke Ryan, he's a, a back pocket specialist. Yeah. He is. I think there's enough height. I really like the spread of my defenders. So they can all come out and help each other in there. No. You've got Haynes no. there, plays tall. You've got small. May, you got Ryan. Oh, I, don't think, I don't think it's small. I yeah. think it's a, a very solid Little. defensive six uh, build. One, you, he, one was, he was terrific all yeah. year. Hey, Kane, we've got a list here of the selectors who actually picked the official All-Australian team, not your Kane's team of the year. Here it is. Gil McLaughlin, Kevin Bartlett, Luke Darcy, a director at the Western Bulldogs, Duke. Steve Hocking, Glenn Jackovich, Chris Johnson, Cameron Ling, Richo, and uh, probably the biggest voice in Adelaide, yeah. Warren Treadray. <laughs> what do you, what's tough, your thoughts on the team they Well, pick? it's a tough job, clearly, um, Lord Owen. I get that. But I'd love to ask Gil how much footy he watched this year. He's been dealing with state governments. He's been dealing with Queensland, scheduling all of that, trying to keep the game afloat, which has been unbelievable. But how much actual footy did he watch? Well, actually, uh, so well, let's find out. Uh, Damo, you're with Gil 24-7. Yeah. 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 How much football did he watch this year? <laughs> I think he watched a lot of it. I think most of us probably all watched more football than we might have in the past, given that uh, for most of us living in Melbourne, there wasn't much else to do. But I think his vote, though, when it's all to be serious for a moment, I think his vote is more as a as a casting vote if there's a requirement to determine between one or two players. So I, don't, I don't think he throws up names. Yeah. OK. Kane, is yeah. it fair to say you put Travis Bogan as the captain so you two can be tight again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're, we're extremely tight, Brownie. We're, we're tight. But uh, he, was, he was terrific. I, I was surprised. I mean, nothing against Dangerfield eight in a row, so he worthy as well. But 
Travis Blake, I thought, led from the front all year, and, and that would have been good recognition. Who's for the him. coach, Kane? The coach is Graham. Ken Hinkley. Bill. Oh, there is, there is, there is, Ken Hinkley. There, 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 there is absolutely <laughs> no oh. doubt that Ken Hinkley is the coach of the year. Oh. Everyone wanted oh. him sacked. Everyone wanted yeah, him you. gone. There was petitions to yeah. sack him. He's been an outstanding coach. Who's the I runner? He, uh, Who's the runner for the team? Is it Chad? Oh, oh, Chad, 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 Chad Corns is the runner. Uh, so he's the All-Australian runner. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Uh, All right, Kane, well done. Um, that, that's uh, well done for you on what's been your final year as sole selector on the Sunday yeah. footy show. Kevin Bartlett's joining you next year. <laughs>